Hi, it's Matthew Dixon of MindAid.ca, and I've got a tip for you for eye contact. This is uh, to help with your mental health, to help with all sorts of things. Brian Grazer, the Hollywood producer, he works has worked with Ron Howard for his whole career, and he has a book out called, uh, I forget the title of it, but he's got two books out, one on curiosity and the other on human connection. And he says that eye contact, believe it or not, is his biggest secret to success. Biggest secret, he says, in the book. And he talks about it a lot. He says, few people make really good eye contact. But I've got a tip for you. This is how I've practiced. Um, what, is the biggest, what is the biggest pastime in America? Well, many countries. Video watching. Uh, I think the average American watches five hours of whatever screen time a day. And it's more than any sport, any community activity. It's, the, our, it's our biggest pastime for countries all over the world. You can practice this while you're doing your favorite pastime, watching videos, <laughs> watching TV, movies, whatever. And what I do is I, when I'm looking at someone... Um, some uh, often I won't want to look at their face. It's amazing how, how many of us don't make much eye contact with other people throughout the day. Um, sometimes I don't make make much eye contact with somebody if I'm in a rush, uh, talking to a, you know paying for gas, the the cashier. I don't make much eye contact sometimes. It depends. Uh, I I sort of fluctuate on how much I use, how much I don't. But I do try most of the time to look someone right in the eye. And I don't stare for hours on end, but um, I do try to make it at least a quick glance to their eye. And the way what's helped me, and this is how I've practiced on like video, TV, movies, is look to the to, in their eye, find the, the their iris, the colored part, the circle. Look to the left and to the right. Look to the left and to the right. Then find the other eye. Look to the left of the iris, then the right, left, right. Um, to, I, I'm always looking for the white of the eye on either side of the iris to make sure I'm looking right at their eye. Another trick I've heard is try to pay attention to what color people's eyes are. Sometimes we don't even know what our friends' colors of their eyes are, our coworkers. So that's um, that's helped me so much. I've done this. I found his book. I don't know, four or five years ago. I forget when it came out. Maybe 2018 or something. 2017. I forget. It's 2023 20, now, and it's I've been practicing for years. I will keep doing it. Uh, it's and it's amazing how different people's eyes are from one person to the next. They're different in so many different ways, and when you start looking at them, you'll you'll notice that it. it's uh, uh, some people's eyes are wide open and just easy to look at. You're you're drawn right to them. Other people, when I look at their face, I want to look at other parts of their face. Maybe they have an interesting feature on their face beard, earrings, whatever, and uh, maybe they're a dominant person and they, you naturally want to avoid eye contact with them. Maybe there's that going on. Maybe they're in a bad mood. And when you look at them, it's sort of, you sort of get their emotions through them. Um, and you're not really in that mood of feeling in a bad mood <laughs> and you don't really want to make eye contact with them. They don't make you feel very good when you look at them. Um, it could be because of their mood, their emotion, and, and you don't want to get that emotion either. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's helped me so much and, uh, I've practiced and it, it's helped me in real life. Um, it's been wonderful and I just wanted to share that with you. And, uh, so go practice next time you're watching TV, video, internet, YouTube, whatever, uh, try to look at people's eyes and, it's uh, Brian Grazer says it's his biggest secret to success. So there you go. That's my tip for today. I went for a little walk in the woods here to get some uh, forest time, help calm me down. It's uh, wonderful to be out in the woods. And um, yeah, keep checking up with MindAid. I'm making more videos these days. Um, I'm hoping I'll keep going with that and keep making more videos. It's uh, my health is. Um, it's good, but it's new for me. I can talk about that in other videos where I am these days with my mental health. It's, uh, I'm feeling darn good, but it's new for me. So I'm, uh, I'm entering a new phase. I'm not really in a routine yet, I would say. Um, I've got schizophrenia. I've been fighting for this, recovering from this for 30 years or so. And, uh, it's, I'm, overall, I'm in a darn good place. I love where I am these days. 
and uh, I'm just not really in a routine of things. It's uh, so I'm, I need to work on my routine. Anyway, keep looking in people's eyes.